Weber. Weber is a tiny little boy trapped inside a spider's body. If that sounds confusing, just imagine the nursery rhyme about the old lady who swallowed a fly, but this time the spider swallows a kid instead. Weber has 175 health and hunger, and 100 sanity, which makes him more durable than Wilson, but twice as crazy. Weber's special gimmick is that he can befriend spiders. This can be used to create massive groups of playground friends to help you fight off all the neighborhood bats. Weber is also a monster, so he can't befriend pigmen, and he- Oh wait! Yeah, Weber can grow a beard! Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Wilson can also grow a beard, but can Wilson make a webby whistle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. Since Weber has a beard, we're going to be pairing him up against Wilson's winter run, and the rules are the same. 40 days, no thermal stone. Weber has a whole lot more going for him than Wilson did, so let's do this. Day 1, spiders. Day 2, science machine. Uh, yeah, we, we don't talk about that run. Day 1, Inspicious Chest. Day 2, Chester. Day 3, Base. Day 4! Uh, no, no, nothing happened on Day 4. Day 5, Spider Torch. Day 6, Fish. Day 7, Sticks. Now, as you can see here, I'm finally beginning to use some of Weber's special characteristics. Because as a spider, I have the ability to tame other spiders, so what I'm doing is I'm blowing my web whistle in order to call the spiders out of the nest, and then I'm feeding the warriors meat. Uh, any spider that Weber feeds, he can then pick up because it's tame, he's tamed it. And if he feeds a spider meat, uh, any or up to two nearby spiders, can just become friendly and start following him around, as you can see happening here. The spiders that have normal faces are just normal. The spiders that have these little smiles are mine. Now on day 9, several things are going to happen. First, I'm going to go out to the swamp in order to collect a ton of reeds, because I'm going to need those in order to craft a den decorating kit. What this is going to allow me to do is to place down a spider nest and then decorate it, making all of the spiders that come out of it peaceful. It's not foolproof because if the nest is attacked, or if the spiders are attacked, then the den decorations will fall off. But so long as the nest remains as it is, then the spiders will not attack anything. That's important, because now I'm going to build this little fenced area, and I'm going to put a pigskin in the middle of it, so that all the spiders that spawn out of that nest are going to constantly walk towards the pigskin. But we're not worried so much about the spiders that are in the nest as we are the spiders in our inventory, because as you can see, they're turning yellow, they're starting to uh, slowly die, if I don't feed them, they'll eventually starve to death. But what I can do is I can set them down on the ground, and they will constantly stick around here because they're trying to get the pigskin and eat it. They can't, however, because they are pacified by the decorated nest, meaning they can't break down the walls. Unfortunately, when I place my spiders down, I completely forgot that you also need a webby whistle in order to dismiss the spiders, because picking them up and then setting them down means they are still yours. And it is important to pick them up and then set them down. If you do not pick them up and set them down, then these spiders would have disappeared every time I left the game, or went to the caves, or went through a wormhole, or anything like that. On day 10, we get the drying racks down, and this will end up being a very important part of the run, since having ready access to meat at any point will be very useful to taming spiders. The evening of day 10 is dedicated to attempting to gather an army of spiders in preparation for the hounds attack. Uh, although this went just about as poorly as uh, our second day on our first run. And here we are, donning our... <sighs> I can't anymore. <laughs> here we are, donning a new set of shorts and clogs ready to go out once more to tackle the world in front of us. Uh, again, for reference, if Weber can make it to winter, that will be his final run. But up until then, he's allowed to restart as many times as he needs to. Uh, just so long as he makes it to winter, the objective is winter survival, not anything else. Bad as he may be at it. I'm going to blitz through much of the early days of Weber's run. Uh, nothing interesting really happened. There was nothing particularly unusual. Apart from, for whatever reason, him deciding to set up his base right outside of the pig village. 
interesting choice, considering the pigs are all hostile to Weber, but hey, he, he apparently, I guess he knows what he's doing. Come day seven, we were finally ready to set up our decorated den once again in a heavy downpour. And by day eight, it was time for a culling of the pigs. On day nine, the spiders were put to good use, killing what, what whatever this thing is. I, I don't know, man. I got a, I got a new neighbor, and he's got a pesky dog. Uh, barks a lot. This is a fantastic way to fight, actually. I, I am loving this setup. Yeah, y'all y'all get him, guys. Go on. Good, good. Finally on to day 10, that infamous day, and Weber's already looking a lot better. He's got the drying rags back, he's got a couple of other stuff, uh, some fishing going on. And he's actually set up to a point where now he can go out and collect some gears. This is going to be an important fight because his favorite food, ice cream, is going to definitely require him to have the ice box later on. Isn't it? Weber's favorite food is ice cream, if you couldn't tell by looking at him, he's a little kid. Although, to be fair to him, that's, that's, that's not, not a bad idea. Day 11 comes and hey, we found a new friend! Don't worry, he didn't die. We're going to need him around later. Day 12, we keep amassing a giant spider army in preparation to go out and collect the terrarium. Day 13, the hounds arrive in the worst possible of moments, so we spend the night running around in the dark. This one is not our friend. <laughs> By day 15, we've finally located and are geared up enough to take on the angry pigs that are guarding the terrarium. We are going to need this later, as it is going to be crucial to actually fight the twins and the Eye of Terror in order to get all of the uh, Milky Whites we need to make ice cream. Next few days were largely uneventful, spent most of them just collecting some resources, cooking food, taming a bunch of spiders, and of course, killing the pigs. By day 19, the spider nests are big enough for me to actually take a nap in one, at least uh, until the hounds showed up. And then, at long last, by night 20, it's time to fight the Eye of Terror, my spider arm. No, I'm gonna die! Lost everything. Ah, uh, too many of them died, I'll have to finish the job myself. Never mind, I'll just use the other spiders to do it for me. Three days, three nights, and my entire life savings for some Milky Whites. Was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it. Some ice cream. I'm literally burning my clothes just to stay alive, but soon I will have ice cream. I just have to get the ice part first. No, have the cream. Just, just need the ice part. And I need to not die to go to the cold first. You know, not don't don't die to the cold. And I need to ask my my friend for for help. Not not dying to the cold because you know he he's warm and uh, I need to be warm. And I need to not die to the hounds, you know? It's important not to die to the hounds. And I may also need the sweet bits. I, I forgot the sweet bits. Nobody wants to eat just ice and cream, you know? You need the sweet bits. And not die to the hounds again. I mean, you wouldn't want me to die to the hounds again. I technically have the ice cream right now. I just, because it heals, I don't really want to eat it quite yet. Um, nom, 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 nom. Day 31 arrives, and there's been no sign of Klops all night, so I'm not totally sure if he's coming. Something I should mention is I have done basically nothing all winter long. Unlike Wilson, who diligently prepared uh, day in and day out, I have more or less just sort of wandered about aimlessly. And because I have a constant supply of food from all the spider dens, combined with the pig village, combined with all the ice lying all over the ground, I have gotten away with it. I haven't even tried to rebuild my army. The fence is just sitting there in tatters. Oh, speaking of army, <laughs> there he is. Guess who's coming? It's Deer Feast Clops! That's right, because this is the middle of the winter event, so it's not going to be regular Deer Clops. This time he gets to shoot lasers out of his eyes. And how are we going to fight Feast Clops? With Spider Queens. Because now we have a ton of Spider Queens running around base, and I don't know what to do with them. It's actually pretty nice using the Spider Queens. I can just leave the fight and then walk back whenever I'm ready to join in again. It's like having your own personal sub. Another one bites the dust. As usual, with any prolonged Deer Clops fight, that left me with absolutely zero sanity. Weber has low sanity to begin with, so it's not particularly good for him. But that's not a big problem, since I can just sleep the entire night away inside a spider's den. When I said I wasn't doing much of anything, I'm not kidding. I'm just sitting here building whatever this thing is. Fine, I guess I should go ahead and rebuild my spider army. I do want to kill the Eye of Terror again, get some more ice cream. I really do just be wandering around out here collecting tumbleweeds for my own amusement, but I, I should really go actually kill the Eye of Terror. Oh look, I found Chester. What do these things do? Nom 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 nom. Ice cream! 
I have like zero spiders, but uh, I mean, who cares? They, they didn't do that much before anyway. Worst idea ever. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I had one day. I had one day left to survive, and I would have tied with Wilson. What was I thinking? Why, why did I die? Right, so clearly, as we can see from this very scientific test, Weber's beard isn't nearly as good for winter survival as Wilson's is. Wilson keeps his title. I was actually more like three days away, but that's beside the point. Uh, Weber, as a little kid, maybe if he had planned a little better and hadn't spent so much time frolicking around, he could have done a bit more, but who knows? Anyway, as it turns out, there's actually one more bearded character, so you may get to see him very soon. The legend says he's Mr. Canada Man himself. Perhaps he could even give Wilson a run for his money. But if you enjoyed, please do hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me if you'd like to see anything else on the channel, check out some of the other videos that I make, and, as always, take care. Bye-bye.